It is argued that for the state at home disrupting social economic activities in the southeast to stop, leaders of goodwill from the region must condemn it. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has described insecurity in the region as criminal activity. Obi noted that since the proscription prescribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has constantly distanced itself from the seat at home and insecurity. What is going on in the southeast is criminal activity. While commending the governors for their efforts, he said they need to be more strategic and intelligence-driven in their approach. There's one guy in Finland they call Simon Ekwa. Mm -hmm. Simon Ekwa is, uh, you know, he declared um, from July or to August, close to a month now, said there's going to be complicity at home. And people, he has followership, people listen to him, and I don't know, he's just doing exactly what Mas Dinabdekano was used to do in London when he was not around. This guy is in Finland, and people are killing people right in the southeast. It would have been best for him to come home and enforce it himself. You want to keep people at home for I days, see, well, for days, say, I'm for weeks. Home. I'm at home. No, but you know, the no, you stay at home in Finland. See, what the, the truth is, a lot of our good people in the southeast have been blackmailed. Honestly, it's not as if they enjoy this sit at home. The Igbo man, on Monday morning, he wants to open his container. Business has started. But so you factor. rob them of that opportunity. They are now moving their businesses to other uh, parts of the uh, country. Um, places like uh, uh, Aquaibon are now receiving a lot of business people from the east who, as a result of uh, the sit at home, um, cannot work on Mondays. Mm. It makes absolutely no sense. Uh, it is not true that IPOB has said they are not interested in sit at home. What IPOP said was that IPOP, that sit at home will only happen on days Please, when Unam Dekano is brought to court. Must just try it. But even on days when it's not brought to court, we still see these boys enforcing the sit at home. It's a good thing to hear someone like Peter Obi um, condemning them. what we had condemned so many times. We had expected him to, to condemn this earlier. because mm. of his influence, because of the, of the, the, the reach that he has when he speaks. Today, this thing has gone out of hand. Mm. The boys who are enforcing it at home, they are cultists, they are criminals. And they, you look at a state like a boy that was not even obeying it at home. Mm. They went there and were shooting people just to instill fear in the hearts of the people. Fear factor. You know? So that next time they say, uh, sit at home. The governor of uh, Nugu State, he came out, he was resolute about uh, you know, uh, running. ensuring that on Mondays people go to work. Yes. But the people want to go to work, but they are not guaranteed the security that they need to be able to conduct their businesses peacefully. That's why, Lord, they would rather sit at home. No governor. Ah, the former governor of Oboyin was threatening people now. But people won't listen. Even when Soludo took over, Soludo too was threatening people that yes, oh, yes, if we don't come to work, come, there will be a head count. What has happened? Because the security, even on those days, policemen stay away from checkpoints. Mm. So who will protect the people? There is a need. This new government has to find a way. Because we want the GDP of the country to grow. Mm. How do you get the GDP of the country to grow when a critical segment of the country, a critical segment that drives commerce in our country, mm. they are not allowed to, to conduct business the way they like? There's no way that uh, the, GDP, the GDP will grow. So the exclusion of the Southeast is not going to happen. Mm. So there has to be a way to solve this problem. Stop even the harassment of peace-loving people who want to go about their businesses. For me, and Siken can testify, 
we were in Oweri. During sit at home, there was even traffic on the road. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we had soldiers, <laughs> they came for their annual mm. this thing, uh, uh, Army Day. Mm. Army Day celebration. We, they flooded the city, the city with soldiers. Show of strength. Yeah. There was traffic, traffic gridlock in, in uh, Oweri on, on a Monday. Mm. When I told her, I said, you want us to arrive? I said, why now? Why do you want us to arrive when you say, Ajide, you won't see sit at home? He was just laughing, uh, Wachuku. Mm -hmm. He was just laughing. He said, you won't see sit at home. That, <laughs> that we, are dominating, that we are dominating the area. And, and that was not. That. Yeah, that was not. We so, see, these guys are not bigger than the state. Mm -hmm. Our security operatives need to be um, more resolute. Honestly, and I can hear this new chief of uh, um, army staff saying that that issue will be addressed. I know that ultimately mm. we'll solve this problem. Okay. This is something that we were living in denial at the initial stage, calling these guys unknown gunmen, unknown gunmen, unknown gunmen for a long time, that we are not even sure who they are. Now we've discovered that these are Southeasterners unleashing terror on their own people. That's the painful part of it. It is. Um... It's like bringing it home for me, um, because some of us, uh, were fat, um, apart from some of us being afraid to even travel to the southeast, uh, the fact is that even those are in the southeast find it difficult, they live in fear, including in my own village, in Mongobo, where I come from. Monday is a no fact that there's only certain areas just within the city that you can see people coming and betting. Most of the places paralyzed, schools paralyzed. Don't go to school on Monday. But let me give you a statistics of the economic impact of what we are talking about. International Center for Investigative Gen Reporting um, on January 16, 2023, came out with a report. And it said that that report did a one year assessment of um, the economic losses in the Southeast. It came to, that's for 52 weeks, it came to 4.618 trillion naira. That is Monday, just staying at home. I'm not talking about the, just staying at home every Monday. Now, um, that came to a, a total of $10.495 billion. Um, dollars. Weekly, it came to $75.704 billion. Now, they even went as far as taking it down the state. Every week on Mondays, Anambra loses $38.140 billion naira. Enugu, 9.334 billion. Imo, 13.739 billion. Ebony, 4.079 billion. And Abia, 10.412 billion. Now, when you look at this and other social uh, activities that lost, you now see that the Southeast is practically breeding. And just like Jide said, people now, especially in Anambra State, now have moved to Asaba. Most people are living in Asaba now. Jide was in Asaba. Jide was in Asaba a few weeks. I think it's a few weeks of a few months ago. You saw the you saw you saw people are sending their children. Sending, people are sending their children to school in Asaba. Just people across, are living across. It's just a walk. Just the bridge. It's just the bridge. You just walk. Oh, they don't enforce. It. Yes, they don't enforce. It. Once you walk through on the and just cross the Niger Bridge, you see life on a Monday, and that is what has been happening. Then the issue you now ask yourself, why this? And I have always said it. It goes just for me, it goes just beyond security. You oh, always say, oh, the military are not doing enough, the soldiers are not doing enough. They put what of the leaders of the South East? What are they doing? I'm talking of the governors, I'm talking of those in the local government, I'm talking of the traditional rulers and the rest of them. There have been issues of They've lost control. That is what Those I boys were even killing. They were killing, yes. Because if you remember what happened vividly, just this last one, they were everywhere shooting people and killing people that. It has become so very difficult for us. My, personally, I feel that part of the solution, one, is that the Nigerian government under the president, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, should first and foremost start dealing with free land, interbilateral bilateral, um, um, relationship, to find a way of making sure that that young man, that is always instigating this one, is brought to book. It's either they get him arrested. They to jail him. They don't get him this thing. But we must. Oh, let me tell you. But the, let me tell you, Finland cannot start that for you. You will be a hero here if they bring him in. Yes. 
If he, he, so the, Fila, the Finnish government cannot do that. It is the Nigerian government that will write formally to in, 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 in Finland and say, this is the problem we're having. This is a, you know, there was a time that it was a rumor that he was arrested one day like this. It Everybody was left was the same day. Then it was left the same day. Because we don't So there is enough. There, is, there was a young man that is in the UK that was at a point was making discriminatory, inciting this thing about the, the, the people of the South East. Okay. In UK, they arrested him. I can't remember the guy's name. Um, if you remember this thing, you remember that. It's not in every country that, that, that can do what. That is uh, it. You remember, the, you remember what I'm talking about. Mm. He was a, and since then that he was warned by the British government, you have not seen a single post by him. I think this is something should be done because the life in the South is practically at its lowest and we cannot continue. All right.